Hello, internet. So I want this to be the least sad video you ever watch about how to take care of a loved one with Alzheimer's. Um, as you probably already know, taking care of someone with dementia is super depressing. I want other caregivers to know that it doesn't have to all completely suck, that it can also be fun and cathartic if you let it be, and really just that laughter um, can help you both in so many wonderful ways. I wanted to make this video because I wish there was someone who had showed me that there was a more lighthearted approach to this disease when my mom was diagnosed a few years ago. I went to the sad support groups, I did the crying and therapy, I've watched all the YouTube tutorials on how to be a good caregiver that all feel like weird life alert commercials for some reason. While all those things did serve their purpose, um, none of them taught me how to have fun with someone with a degenerative brain disease. Um, and really just that having fun with her would be the only thing that helps instantly improve her memory and mood. I stopped working for a year so I could be a more full-time caregiver and in that time I realized that it only gets so much harder to keep them happy and to keep them laughing and it happens so quickly. Um, and that's why it's so important to laugh at all those silly little things that they do now while those things can still make them laugh. People think that it's not okay to laugh at someone with Alzheimer's. Personally, I would rather laugh than cry. Um, and I mean, as far as fatal diseases go, this one's pretty hilarious. When you make them laugh or when you laugh with them, you're taking away their stress and anxiety and depression. You're distracting them from whatever state of confusion they might be in. Laughing truly changes my mom back into my mom. Because Alzheimer's can be funny, man. Like, it can be like really, really, really funny. Like. Really, 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 really fun. So here are my tips on how to embrace the uncomfortable humor of Alzheimer's and be a badass caregiver. Tip number one, sing a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Are you sunny? Sing here. You're sunny. I'm sure. I don't want to be sunny. All right. Sunny's dead. You want to be the dead one? No. Music. Did you know that there's reasons to exercise other than being hot? There was a recent study that suggests exercising a few times a week may actually delay brain deterioration for people who are at higher risk of developing Alzheimer's and for those who already have Alzheimer's, um, exercise may actually slow down the disease and improve memory and mood. But if your loved one is anything like my mom, then they f***ing hate exercise. Tip number two, trick them. Turns out the only thing my mom will run for is a ball. Yes, fetch may seem mean, but you know what's actually mean? Uh, sticking your mom in a nursing home where they're gonna make her do water aerobics, which in my opinion is far more degrading than fetch. For some lighter cardio, try blowing bubbles and swearing. Bubbles. We know everything about Mr. Bubbles. F*** you, Mr. Bubbles. They're dangerous, Mr. Bubbles. 
one positive about this disease is it turned my mom into such a little performer. I always joke that the one good thing about Alzheimer's is it made my mom forget what a bitch she used to be. Tip number three, uh, get them excited and make them feel special by choreographing a dance together and put on a performance for literally anyone who will watch. Maybe that's their partner, your dog, the mailman who always tries to avoid conversation with you guys. Really, anyone, doesn't matter. The choreography is likely gonna be trash. No one's actually gonna wanna watch it, but none of those things are gonna matter because you guys are gonna have so much fun. Step number one, get ready. Uh, it doesn't matter if you suck at makeup because I guarantee the person with the degenerative brain disease is much worse at blending than you are. Um, the best advice I have is don't use anything you can't take off with a makeup wipe. Uh, don't let them near your eyes and don't poke them with anything that might bother them. Also, probably don't go outside afterwards. Step two, practice. Honestly, this part isn't really necessary because it's not like they're gonna remember the choreography. Uh, this part's just for fun. Step three, showtime. You keep saying you got something for me. Can you If your loved one is anything at all like my mom, then they would rather eat poison than a piece of fruit. And getting them to eat healthy is the hardest thing in the world. Um, tip number four, trick them into eating fruit and all the other healthy things they don't wanna eat by distracting them. Uh, I suggest techno and a little bit of Nutella. Ooh. As important as watching their diet and vitamin intake is, my number one priority has always been my mom's happiness and shockingly that does not involve a lot of vegetables. Um, so as long as you're watching their health and just let them live a little, you know, like take care of them but make sure they don't feel babied and really just let them fuck shit up every now and then. Cheers. Boop. <laughs> Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Good machine so far. Shh. Hiya. Pig. <laughs> Don't ever talk to me again. Tell him. I'm gonna tell him right now. Yeah. This is chocolate and I love it. And I can't stop eating it. What do I do? What do I do? Tip number six, pretend it's their birthday like all the time. Um, you could just do it when they're feeling down, or if you're like me, you can do it every time you go out to eat. Uh, it makes them feel good. You both get a free dessert. It's not like anyone knows it's not their birthday, so it's a win for everyone. Um, my main takeaway from being a caregiver is if you just focus on their happiness and keeping them laughing, it'll make those sad moments just so much easier to deal with when they come. Make every moment feel like a party. Keep them smiling and laughing, speak in an upbeat tone. Um, just really just never give them a reason to feel scared or different. Think of Alzheimer's like Fight Club. First rule of Alzheimer's, don't talk about Alzheimer's. Um, just, just listen to them. Don't exclude them from conversations. Um, don't talk about their disease in front of them. The bad days will come and you'll have so many moments where it feels impossible to react without anger or frustration. I spent like a year just like crying, just for like a full year, um, until eventually I realized today might be the happiest my mom's ever gonna be. So I would be an idiot to waste that time being sad instead of spending it with her, you know? So if, if you can approach Alzheimer's with that lighthearted perspective, um, 
I promise everything will just fall into place so much easier. Alzheimer's itself is not funny, uh, but the way you approach it can be. And I think once I realized that, my life just became so much easier and so much more enjoyable. Uh, so this has been much longer than I've ever wanted to spend talking to myself into a camera. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up with some words of wisdom from my mom. Take it away, mom. High water. See. Low water. Low water. <laughs> High water. Jewish water. <laughs> French water. <laughs> French toast. Mr. Oh. French from Family Affair. Do you remember that? Who wouldn't? <laughs>